everyone, this is Fiona with the couponboutique.com and um, my video today is going to be about going back to the basics of learning how to read a coupon and I have a very active Facebook group and that was some of the questions that um, over a period of time I was getting so we're going to go ahead and address that today so um, I've been sick for a while and so now I'm back and I apologize in advance for the lighting. Um, it is cold as everything. It's a billion degrees below zero here. And um, I can't go outside and make the video. So the lighting is pretty uh, off here. So I try to get as close to the window as possible. So I do apologize in advance about this. So let's get started. Now, before I do the video, I have some props to represent the different coupons um, to show you what I'm talking about. So I have two pencils. So the pencils are going to represent the item for each coupon that I'm going to present to you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with that. As you well know, you can get coupons from online. So you have your printable coupons, and you also have your newspaper coupons that you get in your Sunday newspaper. newspaper. And some areas will get the paper for free um, in their um, local newspaper um, and also like um, in their mail. So like I'm one of those people that get the next week's insert. It's only Procter & Gamble and Red Plum the Tuesday prior. So I'll get the inserts a little bit earlier than most people. Now why? I don't know, but some areas do that. I'm not sure. I think it's more of a marketing kind of thing. But um, those are some of the things that you can um, find coupons. You also have your mobile coupons. I have that list on the website also. Um, so those are some of the coupons that you can actually use, okay? Okay, so I have a printable coupon here for, it says save $1 on the um, Glad food products right um, protection food protection so what this is you're gonna buy two so this is we're going to pretend this is Glade to use this coupon you can't just buy just one because it says off of two see that two there so you have to buy two in order to use this coupon now you cannot just stack coupons say for instance you have two of these coupons and you're buying two but you want to use another one on top of that you would have to buy another two so you're pretty much coupons are very very straightforward they tell you exactly what you need to do to use this only way you're able to stack coupons is if you're using any um, store in coupons which is like CVS Rite Aid, Walgreens, some grocery stores that let you stack in-store coupons with manufacturer coupons, but it will say it on the coupon. It's an in-store coupon. This is a manufacturer coupon. You can see that right there. And I'm hoping the wording is not backwards because it's showing up backwards for me. Okay, so now we have a couple of Procter & Gamble. So this one is 50 cents off of one Febreze Air Effect, okay? So see that? It says 50 cents off of one. So we're going to purchase one Febreze Air Effect to use this coupon. Now, Procter & Gamble has the wording of limit of four light coupons per household per day. It is actually in the red right there, okay? So it's right there, okay? What that means is, and this is with all Procter & Gamble coupons, what this means is that you can use four of this coupon per day. Just four, can't use five, only four. So if you plan on buying this item, you could buy up to four. Now, if you have another Procter & Gamble, you can use it also. So if you have another coupon you clip from their insert, you can use that too. But you can, you're limited to using four of another coupon by them also. Okay. Also, coupons actually state their limitations. You know, you can use that coupon as long as you buy, you know, 10 ounces or more. You know, follow the coupon. They are very straightforward. So in this one here, the Febreze, it says, 
excludes trial and tra um, travel size and that is right there okay so what that means is that you cannot use this coupon if it's a trial or travel size coupon okay can't use it all right now we have a buy one get one free again Procter and Gamble see there it says buy one get one free so this one says Buy one Febreze Notable Refill and get one Febreze Notable white, um, Warmer for free. So this is going to be the Febreze Notable Refill and you get the Febreze Warmer for free. Okay, so you're in essence paying for the refill and you get the warmer for free. Okay, and again, this is a limit of four. So you can use this coupon but only up to four of them and this is another Procter and Gamble coupon um, the one we just had this is another Procter and Gamble coupon you can use these two but you only can use four of this one and four of this one per day if you have more Procter and Gamble coupons you can use them all four of this one four of this one and four of this one that's it okay all right Tide seems to be the villain <laughs> for some people. So I'm going to go over the Tide coupon. Now, this Tide coupon, and notice my lighting is changing outside, so we're trying to make this quick. Okay, so this one is the Tide coupon. It says $3 off any Tide detergent, Tide boost, or, tide, uh, or downy. Okay? Excludes Tide pods. Okay, see that? So that means you could buy three bottles of the liquid or the powder of the Tide detergent or the Tide Boost, the Downy, but it said excludes Tide Pods. You cannot get Tide Pods with this. There are also other coupons out there that will have the Tide, um, tide Pods and it will tell you excludes Tide Liquid. It will tell you. Coupons are very straightforward. Okay, so that means that you cannot get Tide Pods with this. But you may see another Tide coupon that says you can use on Tide Pods, but it may not be able, be able to be used on any liquids. Okay, again, this is a Procter & Gamble. You can use up to four per day per household. Okay, so um, the other question I got is, can you use a coupon on a buy one, get one free? Okay, so say for instance the one that you're paying for can use a coupon on it. That's a lot of gray area, but I would say no. Because in essence, the buy one get one free is kind of representing both coupons. Um, so, and again, it's a gray area. Um, but you can use, say for instance, if you're like at a Rite Aid or maybe CVS, we use CVS. If you're at CVS and they have, we'll say Tide buy one get one free and you got a tie coupon for buy one get one free you get both of them for free you can do that you can use a coupon on a buy one get one free if the store is offering a buy one get one free but again look at your store policy before you go to see if they allow you to use a buy one get one free coupon on a buy one get one free sale at their store okay so i hope that clarifies a lot of stuff read your coupons carefully and you know it's it's very self-explanatory um but i know i got a lot of questions in the group about you know reading coupons or can you stack as many as you like on one item you can't coupons are very straightforward they tell you exactly what you need to do and um i hope that, that helped everyone i will have the link to my facebook group we're a pretty active group if you ever have any questions and i also post the deals there and my website is called thecouponboutique.com and i will see everyone later bye